Hello everybody and welcome to Stalai. Today I would like to introduce you a very multi-talented artist and his name is Diego Valdez. Hi Diego, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm so happy to be here and, and you know, so proud for this opportunity. I'm really delighted to hear this. And listen, how did you become interested in visual arts? Uh, all the life I have been working in different areas from the art and my dad was an artist and that is why I, I had this interest in visual arts. Yeah, in painting and photography and all that stuff. I know also that, you know, you've been actually trying yourself in a different artistic career. Let's talk first of all about your modeling career. How was that kind of experience for you? It was great. I, I am retired now from fashion industry, but I, I had amazing 12 years working for fashion in, for different countries and in different uh, scenarios for runway, print, art, different brands. Yeah. And yeah, and it's art too, you know, it's related with the with the acting because uh, to be model is like uh, it's like you have to pretend to be something something to represent a brand. Then finally you are acting too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like, it, it's a way of performing anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a responsibility without words, you know, because you have to to tell an history for the campaign with the picture, with your with your eyes, with your with your face, and, and it's it's so 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 important. And uh, listen, talking actually about your acting career, uh, how did you start that? My acting uh, actually in Colombia. In Colombia, I did a uh, lot of television. I did uh, soap opera. I I did the backstage uh, part of the of the process too. And I love uh, everything about about acting. You know, I I have studied the the, the, the acting career, and I, I I had the possibility to to be an actor for some production and was so 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 incredible as an artist you know that helped me to 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 be in front of the camera to 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 see the the scenario to know the environment and and it's actually a, an amazing amazing experience yeah and uh, do you think maybe that you you might like to work in movies as well if I have the opportunity, I, I am open to, to be back on acting. I am not desperate at this point to look uh, the opportunity to, to be actor for movies or something like that. I am related with celebrities, with, uh, with the people in, in, the, in the movie industry. And I am open, but at this time I am going step by step because I am I am I have just three years in the country, in the United States, and I am going step by step, knowing the environment and the, and the people too. As part of your visual arts work, you also write and produce animation movies as well. Would you like to tell us something about it? Yeah, I have been working on animation from 2010 in different projects, in basic projects, stop motion projects, you know. And it's so interesting because it's the, you know, it's a, to do the drawing and at the same time have the possibility to interact with the, with your creation and and see your creation with with movements, with talking and all that stuff. I, I am so interested about about animation. I have been working in different productions, different style for kids, uh, uh, because I am a daddy now, I have a daughter, then I love the the, the histories for kids, and I have Bella Bien the Seventy Night, Master B, the Positive B, uh, Paco the Goose, and others. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, in fact, I, I've seen them actually on your website, on uh, Walla Artist website. Yeah. And uh, I have to say that, you know, I really enjoyed all of them. And, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of sweet tales, if we can say that. So that I think they're very, very suitable for kids. Yeah, yeah. And for and the grown-ups too. Yeah, we are going to have a, a new partnership with a, a big... Uh, animation studio in Hollywood because the the success we are we are having with the with the the, the you know the normal creation we are doing mm -hmm. I say normal because I I did my creation with my hands with the stop motion with my team without pretend to be the the, the bigger animation studio without any of that pretensions. But the histories are, are going well, and I have some partners uh, with interest about uh, to produce the, yeah. the, the histories. That, that is great to and so touch it, you know. You have a great talent for drawing, and especially, uh, you know, for, for drawing portraits. And uh, uh, you choose very often celebrities as a subject of those. How actually do you choose the subject for a drawing, mm, you know the, the the fact to 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 develop a drawing. I am posting a drawing, maybe three four drawings per week, in my Twitter or something like that. Is the fact to to me to promote what I can do, mm -hmm. you know, as an artist. Uh, I have no an specific target to 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 develop the drawings. Sometimes I can do a portrait of some actor, celebrity, sometimes not, because I am working on an original ideation, you know. Yeah. That's why sometimes you, you can see my drawings, sometimes are more close to the character, sometimes not. But always the, the drawing have the the feeling, the you know, the the sense, the glance, something. Yeah. related with the, with a powerful message and that is idea and the drawings help me to to promote what I can do uh, it's not about to 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 talk it's about to show something i think that is that is what is doing the, the difference with me i am not talking with words i am talking with facts mm -hmm. that that is why i am doing drawings and celebrities because you know, it's people with uh, powerful names, and I want to create a tribute. Yes. No, no, a caricature, no, no, a funny drawing. I'm, I'm trying to, to, to do a, a, a portrait, a, you know, a tribute. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people likes the drawing, sometimes not. But we are trying, you know. Yeah. But that, that's part actually of, of arts, you know, so that, that, that's pretty normal. But uh, one thing that I would like to say about your, your drawings is actually the great attention that you put when you draw the eyes of your subjects. Like, you know, I, I've been watching almost all of your, you know, your, your drawings online. And I have to say that every time I'm very much catched by, you know, the way that you draw the eyes because they are so meaningful, so powerful. Tell me about this. The, the drawings are is is um is what people love in in my drawings are the eyes. I, people is is getting the connection with the eyes, and I I am adding all my effort to the eyes with geometrical shapes, you know squares and, and things like that to, to try to, to, to get the, the attention and to try to communicate uh, uh, the life, you yeah. know. Maybe you can see the, the drawings are alive, but it's because the eyes. I work on the eyes a long time, like it's, it's the most delicate part of my artwork, maybe two or three hours just working on the eyes. Mm -hmm. And the rest is something like that. Some, sometimes uh, days depend of the, of the character, depend of the drawing. If it's a portrait, 
sometimes takes weeks, sometimes a couple of days, all depend. Mm -hmm. And if it's a, an animal, it's, it's, it's faster because it's, it uses imagination and, and I, I can be more free, yeah. Actually, you have just mentioned them uh, about you know the, the animals that, that you you like to, to draw as well. Tell me about this kind of choice. Like, wh what do you try to communicate when you are you are drawing animals and dolphins especially? Uh, the the last collection, the dolphin collection, is is a message trying to to care about the water, you know, because because we need we need it. It's, is the is the gold mine we have in in our planet is is the water and sometimes people is is not doing it well people is is you know doing bad bad things with the water yeah and that is why i am trying to communicate with the dolphins that hey think about my home you know think about my my environment is your environment too, and and you can't destroy it, and that is what uh, my dolphins are trying to say. You know, mm -hmm. I did sharks too a couple years ago, but now the dolphins are trying to communicate that uh, that uh, hey, care about my home. It's your home too. Yeah, that's yes. the idea. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a way like to, to make people more sensitive about this kind of topic, I would say. Yeah, and, yes. and with a drawing, because I can, I can write something about it, you know, but people is not going to read because people have no time to read, actually. We That's are living true. In a, we are living in, a, in, a, in, a, in, you know, running for everything. We have no time for, for nothing. And, but with the drawing... People, it's, you know, catching the, the message in, in, in one second. And it's even is more important than the drawing. The drawing is is not the most important part. The, the important part is the message, you yeah. know. And yeah, that is why that, that's kind of, collect, of collection. The, the tigers, too, for the wildlife, you know. Yeah. Uh, the tigers are going to disappear if we have no attention for that. You know and uh, listen Diego how much love for what you do is important for you uh, love is everything I do everything for passion with love and if I am not in love with something I am doing I am not happy and I am not following any project if I have no love and passion in it yeah love is everything to me uh, which artists inspire you I like uh, Jean Michel Basquiat from the modern art. I like uh, Michelangelo from the classic art, and I I love Rembrandt. I love uh, Rembrandt. I am trying to not follow any artist. I'm trying to um, to create my own technique because of digital age. But uh, obviously, I am touched for the classic art in that point. Yeah. Uh, this year has been actually a very important year for you because you, you have been voted and selected to be part of Arts Takes Times Square by Artists Wanted. How did you feel to be part of that? Yeah, I got the invitation from for the contest. I I did my best to be there. And I did a, a big collection of big characters and I, I got the possibility to, to be showcased in, in Billboard's Times Square with other artists too. And I am so, so, so tortured for that. Uh, it's amazing. It, it, it's really great. I, I, I never follow contests because I don't think artists can be in contests. You can choose or select one particular artist, but this time because of Times Square, I, I did my best to be there, yeah. Another great opportunity for you has been actually the uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, right? Would you like to tell me uh, as well about this exhibition? Yeah, the, the, the Hispanic Heritage Month is to me the powerful opportunity to represent the Hispanic art and Latin culture 
in, in this country. And I got this opportunity with the, the Ajo Corporation. They, they did the selection of me, like only a unique artist to represent the Hispanic art. And, and I'm so touched. I did the characters to Frida Kahlo, to El Che Guevara for the Revolution, to the Leopard, to, to you know, the, some drawings of my classic uh, art, like the eagles. And, and I, I am really, really, really touched for that. I can't believe I got this possibility. I am so, so honored. I, I don't know if I am going to to have an opportunity like this again, but uh, I I am really touched for this opportunity, and I hope everybody love the the, the collection. Yeah. Uh, you have been traveling a lot uh, actually for your work before as a model, as an actor, and, and now as a, an artist. Uh, how has been for you, like you know, to visit different country to uh, uh, actually you know exchange with the different cultures as well? Uh, every country is a different culture. Every 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 place is a different history, and I have been learning a lot about follow your dreams, never give up, never give up, and uh, from different people is the same message: follow follow your soul, your spirit, and and don't pay attention to bad feedback and go beyond. Obviously, from countries like uh, London, uh, the culture and the influence, and countries like Argentina and South America, also for the culture too, and countries like uh, Colombia, like the diversity, and countries like United States, like the everything, you know, because here is everything. Yeah, I love that. Listen, Diego, tell us a bit about your current and future projects. I'm going to be in like two or three more events in, in New York about art. I am working on animation with uh, two, exactly two new projects for next year. And I am going to review if I am going to be involved on acting again for next year. Like I told you before, I am not desperate about it. I am just knowing the country, having fun, and, and things are happening. And, and every day I, I am a little more open, but step by step. Listen, Diego, thank you so much for joining us today. It was really, really a pleasure to have you on our show. And, you know, we look forward to having you back anytime. Yeah, you know. I, I admire you so much, I respect you and I am with you all the time and always when you need me I am here for you, okay? Thank you, thank you very much Diego. <laughs>